What's up guys, Rare Spark here, and I'm coming at you with another WWE Supercard Friday. That's right, it's Friday. The road to glory is going well and strong. And this time, don't worry guys, I got my water, so I won't be coughing at the end of this video. And I don't have water around, so I could recover. But now I have the water, so I should be good to go. Anyways, uh, just wanted to let you guys know, for those looking for an NBA 2K video, Spark at the Park will be coming out later today. Uh, once I get that done with, I apologize who are looking for the My Team video yesterday. I unfortunately am very, very sick at the moment, so, you know, it's, uh, it was just really difficult for me to, uh, record a video. I ended up sleeping most of the day because of how sick I was, and I had, like, an upset stomach, headache, stuffy nose, sore throat, all that good stuff, all wrapped into one. It's like, I really, I probably have the flu, but, but the thing that makes me think I don't have the flu is I haven't thrown up yet, and I don't have a fever. So I apologize for the lack of an NBA 2K video yesterday, but if you're here for Supercard, this is Supercard Friday. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So I wanted to reveal what I'm up to. I am now up to Survivor Rob Van Dam, and in this episode, you'll see me get up to Chris Jericho. And uh, so far, it's been all easy, all good to go. I haven't had any issues with beating any of the uh, levels, because obviously, as you can tell, um, I've done plus 10s all the way through. And, you know, I really didn't expect to hit any issues until maybe Chris Jericho. So hopefully I'm incorrect on that. And I actually don't hit any issues until I'm on the second or first Daniel Bryan card. That would be really nice. But I expect to hit some issues because I don't have, like I said in the last episode, too many of the Road to Glory Survivor cards. But uh, let's go through my King of the Ring real quick. And then we'll jump into a couple of games played in the Road to Glory. I was saving up the bouts for it. So... Anyways, we're, we got a couple of uh, CPUs here, and then we got to face this guy again, um, and Brian, who is also a human, and then we get back to quite a few bots, as you can tell. These guys are all bots from what I've seen, and so my last guy is the only one that's not a bot, which is quite unfortunate, honestly, because I don't want to have to, you know, energize on him, but as you can tell from my record... I've I have been really trying and like I said yes I was sleeping all yesterday so I ended up taking losses that I probably shouldn't have and you'll see that up here I took a loss against him and I was sleeping and uh, I took another loss from Kill Switch which is actually a bot as you can tell right here uh, this guy is a bot 100% but uh, his you know energizing was there so he ended up beating me because I was asleep and I didn't energize for a long time but other than that. I was only taking losses from the humans. I know I could beat Brian, so I'm not really worried about him. Uh, he doesn't have, you know, he might win in a coin flip scenario like he did here, even if I was all uh, energized up. But uh, my WrestleMania King of the uh, WrestleMania Pro Nikki Bella definitely helps. And then uh, against the Japanese lettered guy, I have the advantage in Diva. And once again, then it's going to be the coin flips and. That's why I'm excited for Daniel Bryan, Road to Glory, because we can at least change it up, you know what I mean? Most people have three guys uh, after Daniel Bryan, for those people who didn't get either of the PCC pros. So I'll still have the advantage of having four at that point, and until the next Road to Glory, really, I'll have some sort of an advantage, depending on how many people go for the PCC pro in the next event. So I'm hoping it's not Seth Rollins and Randy Orton, because I, like I've said in previous videos, um... Seth Rollins is one of my favorite guys in the WWE today, so I really don't want to see him in a PCC because I feel like he'll end up losing. So it would be cool to see a Road to Glory Seth Rollins in two weeks from now. So like I said, let's go ahead and jump into the Road to Glory. I haven't got any good cards or anything like that. No good polls since yesterday's video, so I don't have much to show you. But we're just going to go through these bouts, and it's starting to get there. It's starting to get harder. I've seen a couple Survivor Pros. And stuff like that. So it's definitely getting more difficult. But it hasn't hit that point yet where I can't hit, win plus fives. Which is nice. And uh, like I said, my Diva advantage is definitely a lot of help. Because a lot of the times it can boil down to one or two matches in the later you know, stages of plus five. And since I have a very good Diva squad, I usually end up edging them out by just a little bit. But uh, let's go ahead and tag these guys. Unfortunately, like I said, they do have... They have these guys have been getting tougher. I've taken a couple of lost point losses 
in these like that one right there. But my advantage comes in the depth of my deck and how I have a Survivor Pro or better in every category. So let's see what we can do here. Unfortunately, oh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Why did I do that? Ah, oh, crap. I might have lost. I might have lost this one. Nope. Luckily, Brock Lesnar is still good enough to uh, edge him out there. No pun intended since I just played Edge. But uh, I screwed that one up. I could have tagged Edge and Bret Hart. But we get the easy victories here. And like I said, the depth of my deck definitely helps. This time we pulled no special Survivor or WrestleMania cards. So we're going to have to try and tag team it up. And uh, we're going to use The Rock and Sheamus. Hopefully that's enough. And it looks like it will be because Yokozuna is a WrestleMania single card. Which obviously isn't on par with most Survivor cards. Unfortunately here, tag match. And they're incompatible. But luckily for me. Yep, yeah, luckily for me. He did two WrestleMania singles, and Chris Jericho and Ric Flair are two of the best cards in Charisma in the Survivor tier, so they edged them out there. All right, so Charisma here. Let's go ahead and send out Daniel Bryan. He'll get the victory over Sting. And then we, if it's a tag match, we still have Daniel, uh, Dean Ambrose and Sting to tag. Oh, it's going to be a single, so we're going to send out Sting. We'll get the victory over his Rock. And then we'll send out... Mr. Dean Ambrose, and it will get the victory there. So we beat him 11-1. Like I said, it hasn't been too hard, but you can start to see the decks are getting better and better as you get further on. And I apologize yesterday, by the way. If you guys watched the video all the way through, I ended up ending the video before showing the polls. And I didn't get anything good, but I kind of felt bad after I hit the stop record button. I realized, oh, I could have... You know, I could have made it a little bit longer, having just the pulls. Maybe I pulled something good. But luckily, I didn't pull anything good, so, you know, it wasn't too big of a deal. But let's go ahead and play these plus 10s. Get a little water in my throat. It was starting to bother me a little bit. And uh, my nose is, oh, man, my nose is just stuffy, so I apologize. It sounded really funny. But we have one left, and... Three rights. So we're going to tag Edge and Bret Hart this time like we should have done the last um, Road to Glory match. We'll get the victory easily over these guys. And then hopefully we'll get singles matches like we did here. Easy win for Bray Wyatt. Then we'll do a speed match. We'll just throw... I usually just throw the speed out there. I try to get them both out there as early as possible. Uh, tag match. So we're going to send out The Rock and... Mr. Rowdy Piper, we're going to get the loss here because Stig and Goldust are tag compatible and tag positive, as I like to say, so they boost each other, and Brock Lesnar will get the easy win over his edge, and most likely I'll win this Divas match, and I do, so like I said, this Diva can carry me for sure, my Diva category can definitely carry me through this, but uh, unfortunately Emma's going to take the loss here, didn't get the you know, matchup I wanted there. Tag team, so I'm going to send out Dean Ambrose and Sting. We'll get the victory over America Tween, Dustin Rhodes, and The Rock. So, we'll get the victory there. And Daniel Bryan, easily, Charisma, wins that one out. So, here we go again. Diva. And again, Triple H is going to beat most players because, especially at this level, no one's going to have the event cards from what I know. Maybe they'll have the Brett, but I haven't seen it yet, even at this high level of high level of play where they're getting better. But he took three points for me, so props to that guy. But we get the survivor, Rob Van Dam. Unfortunately, he doesn't make a pro, so he'll most likely be fusion food because... Uh, you know, I really am not even looking to get Survivor Pros at this point. You know, my deck's already filled in Road to Glory with Survivor Pro or better, so I don't really necessarily need these cards. But, you know, some of them are on the low tier. Like, Fandango, I actually put in here. Um, he actually is not supposed to be in it. Rick Rude is. But the reason I do that is to keep the balance of up and down arrows. As you can see, I have one, two, three ups. One, two, three downs. So that helps me in the tagging. And then the rest of the lefts and rights, I'm not really worried about. It's just my best cards. But I wanted to keep Fandango in there because he's a decent card. He's one of the low tiers, but he's decent in charisma. And 
he can catch a lot of guys off in speed. As, at least the ones that aren't very fast. Like Bray Wyatt, he can beat in speed. Ric Flair, he can beat in speed. The Rock, he can actually beat in speed. So that he he definitely has some advantages, not tremendous, but he definitely could you know win or one or two matches sometimes for me. Oh, we reached the card limit, so we're gonna have to go and train some cards away. Now, you got some of you guys have asked me during live streams why I train epics. It's because. I already have my epic set up for the next fusion, which is going to be the epic chair, because you only need one epic for survivor fusion, so he's just going to be thrown in there, don't really need him. So these guys, I already have three leveled up, are going to be perfect for when I get Daniel Bryan, I can level him up very easily. Usually I think it takes two epics to maybe get to like 45, 50, I could be wrong. But uh, at most, at le let's put it this way. It just makes it that much easier for me to max out the cards and stuff like that. So we're going to be maxing out Daniel Bryan fairly quickly after we get him. Probably in part three, I would guess. Because I don't see me taking too much longer to, through, to get through these cards. So you'll probably see a part three tomorrow when I get a Daniel Bryan. Which I'll be very excited to have. Because like I said, he's actually the best card in the game for those who don't know. He's by one point, I believe. Better than every other card in the game currently. And uh, I'll most likely be using him in singles. But he also will give me the advantage of being able to swap him out in tag matches to save energies. Once I get the next PCC Pro or the next Road to Glory Pro after him. So Razor Ramon is getting leveled up now. So we got rid of the commons. We got rid of the uncommons. We got rid of the rares. So we must have an extra survivor super rare. So let's get rid of these two. We don't really need them. Ryback's trained up, so I'm not going to get rid of him, wasting him on training, because I'll save him for Daniel Bryan as well. Um, so there we go. We're going to play these. Yeah, should we play these three bouts? You know what? I apologize. I like to keep my videos short and sweet. So we're going to end this at 12 minutes. And uh, in the next video, you'll see me going through these three cards. Part three, coming out most likely tomorrow. We'll be getting Daniel Bryan, Road to Glory Pro. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of WWE Supercard Friday. And for those looking for the NBA 2K video, it will be coming out later today. I'll see you guys later. Rare Spark.